my name is Karim Jamal, I'm from Orange. And uh, so I'm very quickly uh, explain you what are the stakes we are challenging uh, with the boss catalyst. So uh, as you know, it's a uh, revolution, uh, digitization revolution that is uh, in front of us. Uh, there's also the emergence of 5G. Uh, also, we have uh, to fight as CSPs against uh, players over the tops. So really, we need uh, an agile IT. Uh, and really, we have to focus our effort on the innovation. So uh, is the reason why we wanted to, uh, let's say, commoditize uh, some uh, core functions. And I'm going to, uh, to leave the speech to my uh, colleague, Brian, that will explain uh, what is BOSS uh, and how it answers to this uh, challenge. Thanks very much. Um, so um, as we've been told, the, 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 idea behind, um, the idea behind BOSS is really to sort of open up the, the way that we operate as, as CSPs, um, but also to introduce an element of um, openness and competition and interoperability between uh, software vendors as well. Um, so within the middle of the ODA, we, we obviously have at the bottom of the, uh, the bottom we have the, 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 the sort of production network layer. Um, in the middle, we have this um, commerce layer, and, and that's, the, that's the layer that we're addressing with, with this, uh, this catalyst. And what we're really doing is we are, um, producing, if you like, a, a, an open source reference implementation of, uh, of BOS, um, and, and, and we can show what we've done as, as part of the catalyst so far in this first phase. Um, the, the idea really is to show that we can create this, this open implementation that anybody can pick up and consume, um, and that we can demonstrate interoperability between uh, CSPs and, and uh, different software vendors by saying, well, look, take the open APIs, um, remove the particular part of the open implementation that, that you're interested in and replace it with your own product. Let's test interoperability there. If it all works, then effectively what we can say is oh, that's kind of half an RFP, half an RFI done. Um, because, because we can say if it works against the, the TM4 and open APIs and you can replace the software component with your own component, then we're there. Um, we can concentrate on the, the real value out of the business. The other thing it means is that without endangering intellectual property, um, we can allow different service providers and, and, and different software vendors to interoperate with one another um, and, and really open up to um, effectively optimizing individual open APIs with whatever technology the software vendor chooses to put under the covers. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So uh, maybe we can focus now more on what uh, we did in the Catalyst. Mm -hmm. So uh, about that, uh, what can we say? Uh, so um, first, uh, we uh, implemented uh, several use cases. Uh, one is uh, catalog management. Uh, the other one is uh, order capture uh, on several uh, offers. Uh, as a traditional B2C, B2B offers, and also on 5G offers. Uh, the objective of the Catalyst was to uh, illustrate uh, the uh, necessary decoupling of front-end and back-ends that is necessary if we want to have a multi-channel approach. The process are in the back-ends. And in this uh, approach, so we can uh, use several uh, devices, such as a laptop or a smartphone, to access uh, the process. Uh, so, uh, as uh, Brian said, it uh, what we started to do is to implement uh, what we call a software canvas with several uh, uh, components, uh, and. Uh, in the future, we'll uh, enrich this, uh, this Canva. Um, so, um, in terms of uh, architecture, here's the global view of the end-to-end -end architecture. So, uh, it's uh, compliant with the uh, open digital architecture. Uh, typically, uh, the boss catalyst is uh, positioned, as uh, Brian said it, in the middle of uh, the landscape in the core commerce management. 
so uh, the first thing is that uh, we uh, use APIs to interoperate with the other systems, with the uh, engagement management system, uh, with party management, and with production. Uh, and typically, we use uh, TMF APIs, such as uh, the uh, TMF uh, 620, that is uh, Catalog Management uh, API. We used also uh, product, offer, uh, pr product Ordering API, 622. Also, we use the TMF 641, that is uh, Service Order uh, API, to provision uh, the, the, the service we ordered. Uh, and also the TMF 363 for uh, service catalog management. Uh, so uh, this, co this slide is fine because uh, we see all the partners of uh, the catalyst on this slide. So not only the two champions, Vodafone and Orange, but also so, uh, our uh, partners such as so, uh, Sigma that provided uh, First, uh, the uh, pre-sale catalog, a federated catalog, where all the uh, uh, general description of the offers are uh, implemented, 5G, B2C, B2B. And uh, also Sigma uh, played the role of the uh, 5G specialized catalog. Uh, also, another partner is Globetop that implemented a B2C uh, catalog. So they implemented offers, B2C offers in their catalog. And also, we put it, uh, a handmade catalog that we developed in the range uh, in a third instance. Uh, so typically, one of the uh, issues we, we addressed is uh, federation of several catalogs. Uh, it's something that happens uh, in the real life. Huh? In the CSP uh, environment, in general, there are several business units. Each one has its own uh, specialized catalog, uh, its own specialized uh, order management system. And uh, during a long period, we'll have to deal with these several um, systems. So this is the idea of the federated catalog that give a, a global view of all the offer families. And after one we want to, to, proce to proceed the, the order capture and the order uh, management, we go to the specialized uh, system. Uh, to finish, and I think I'm going to leave the, the speech to Brian, we uh, tested the interoperation between uh, the boss platform and, let's say, the production platform. Indeed. Um, and in fact, in, in roughly six weeks, we've managed to stand up a demo that incorporates um, at, at this bottom layer in the, in, the, in the production layer, in the network as a service layer, we've managed to incorporate um, service catalogs running on ODNAP from the University of Surrey. Um, we've managed to incorporate um, uh, uh, service ordering and service catalog APIs from Vodafone running on ONAP in our test labs. We've also incorporated into the same federated service catalog um, services from external SaaS providers um, and also from uh, IBM in, in, in IBM's cloud. Um, and we've been able to bring all of those things together um, in, in, this, in this short space of time simply because we've been able to consume from each other TMF open APIs. So we really got to the point where we can start to bring individual service catalogs together, federate those, present those up to a single um, product catalog, take multiple product catalogs, federate those, and then produce end-to-end -end services on top of that. So we've been able to demonstrate two different um, use cases in, in, in our catalyst, one of which is, is the B2C use case of, of, of being able to um, bring business products together from multiple catalogs and, and deliver you know, handsets and, and bundles to, to customers. Um, and B2B use cases around um, uh, individual developers being able to um, consume drone as a service, um, uh, 5G radio, um, 5G core, um, and video, uh, video streaming and video analytics to be able to fly a drone over a crowd um, and recognize faces in the crowd, right? So in, in six weeks, we've been able to pull all those things together um, and it would not have been possible without those TMF open APIs. Now, one of the interesting things about this as we've gone through this journey is, is actually about how we how we interoperate with each other as, as CSPs and, and, and uh, software partners, um, we've been able to show that we can, we can interoperate with each other talking in this open term without actually 
um, endangering anybody's intellectual property, as I mentioned earlier. Um, and, it's, and it's really opened up that, that way of working between the different organisations. Um, as a short anecdote, um, I, I forgot to mention to one of our partners um, that we'd actually federated the, the service catalogues um, uh, in the network as a service. And you know what? It didn't matter. Because we'd federated them using standard mechanisms through the TMF Open APIs, it just worked. And we didn't even realize that we'd forgotten about it until we realized that we were trying to explain it to someone. I went, oh, hang on a second, I federated those. Um, so we've shown that we can work together. We've shown that the TMF Open API has really opened it up. We've also shown that we can stand up open code. Um, and, and, and I guess for the next phases of the catalyst, what we'd really love to build on that is you know, the number of champions joining us in this, um, the, the number of, um, uh, of participants joining us to, to help us work out how we increase the interoperability between us and enable that, that, that kind of integration and interoperability between, between different providers. Okay, thank you. Maybe uh, last comments. If we come back to what you said, Brian, so uh, uh, really the objective is to implement uh, an open source uh, solution. Uh, we have to be clear. So for a CSP, you will have several uh, possibilities. The first one, of course, to use the, the full open source stack, but it's not necessarily the, the only target. Another approach is to use only several open source components, and after you complete it with uh, vendor uh, components. Uh, really, the objective of this reference implementation, as its, its, its name, is to be a reference. That is, uh, it's a, a concrete way to uh, check and validate the compliance of vendor solutions. Uh, it's just we will plug uh, and, uh, and, if possible, play the components on the, on the software environment. Uh, and uh, it's the first approach. Also, really, the objective of both, once again, as I did at the beginning, it's uh, we are uh, at the dawn of a, a new era uh, with 5G, where there will be a lot of verticals, a lot of, uh, we'll be involved in a very uh, many, many ecosystems. So, really, we need uh, uh, to imagine new ways to uh, sell uh, offers, uh, probably will require um, on-demand uh, provisioning uh, features uh, and so on. So we understand that really it's there on this uh, uh, service layer that uh, the innovation must be focused. So it's the reason why we, we think it's important to have a common core um, engine uh, for the basic order management functions that is shared among the industry so that all together with, uh, with uh, our vendor partners, we can focus on the innovation that is uh, necessary. Uh, so it's a, a step uh, to uh, build the, the, the global service and ecosystem uh, approach. So Brilliant. I, I would say if anyone has any questions, now's probably a good time. <laughs> All good. Sounds perfect to me then. Thank you okay, very much. Okay, thank you very much.